When I moved back to Southwest Florida from Malibu, California, there was literally no place to go to get wonderful sushi. Most of the sushi bars here were actually like Oriental Chinese restaurants that also sold sushi. So I decided to make one. Blue Sushi is not a different kind of sushi. It's so simple. It's the feeling. So it started with the music. And I had collected music from all over the world, from, from Amsterdam, from London, from deep in the record bins on Sunset Boulevard. This music I took to our designers in Austin, Texas. And I said, I want to create this incredible place to experience sushi. It's, it's kind of where George Jetson meets Americanized sushi meets tomorrow. I've been to other sushi places a lot. I'm a big sushi fan, but this is by far the most eclectic as far as style, and um, it's just the environment exceeds anything else, and the food is great too, so I'm very pleased with both, and it's very unique since it has all those components. First day we opened, we got so busy. We have guests coming around the world in Southwest Florida, and they were like, wow, cannot believe it. Southwest Florida have a restaurant like this. I have a guest coming in from New York. I have a guest coming in from Boston. I have a baseball player coming in. I don't even know they are a baseball player. They are like, hey, you're doing pretty good. I know what I'm doing. I got a magic hand. Most people say to me, you should have this here. You should have this here. And there are people from all over the country. And they say, you should have a blue sushi. You should open one in this part of the country, whether it's Idaho, Illinois, California. I've heard that on, a, on such a you know, regular basis that it's, it's just an amazing feeling for me, an amazing thing to be a part of. The food here is great. The people who work here are really great. They're like family. And it's just a really, really good place to come to all around. I've heard people from California, Canada, and everyone comes from many places and they just say how great it is, how it's so much different than any other place. You really can't go to another sushi place or restaurant and have so many opportunities of cocktails. Usually they just have one specific Japanese kind of beer that they sell, but here we have all of it. Any other restaurant you go to, it's just like sit down, relax, subtle, but this has music, it's lively, it's fun, it's a really cool place to be. One of the questions that people ask me the most is how do I come up with the names and I really wish that there was some way to tell you. I can talk to a songwriter and say how do you come up with a name, how do you come up with that bridge or that break or how do you decide how it's going to begin in the middle and the end and chances are they can't tell you and neither can I. They're like neckties, there's something for every outfit you know. Uh, I have uh, the heartstring bikini martini is one of my new ones, the Coco pink chanel that we, we made it just it just gives you a visual before you see it, and then the visual takes you right to the glass. There is no comparison. Blue Sushi is the best sushi bar in town. This is very edgy, very modern, very cool place. I have a blast. I love the atmosphere and the people, and especially the food. This little idea that I had has become this phenomenon, this, this cause set in motion that we're going to take national. You can plop blue in New York City because there's nothing like it. You can put a blue in Los Angeles, California because there's nothing like it. You can put blue in London, England because there's nothing like it. I just got back from Paris and guess what? There's nothing like blue. In sophisticated Paris, blue's a phenomenon. Blue's an experience. Blue's a feeling. Blue's incredible. Come experience Blue Sushi.